Okay. Health and wellness check-in for 17 September 2023. Well, as of filming this, it's Sunday, 17 September 2023. City of Sh in the city of Shoreline, uh, community of Innisarken, King County, Washington State, United States of America, Planet Earth, the original. My week, so this is covering Monday 11, September 2023 to today, Sunday 17, September 2023. It was a more socially spaced week with push mentally and good maintenance physically. So this covers my social, mental, and physical health. So that was the introduction and week summary. Up next is social, and I fed all of the crew, all of the critters. I fed the critters all of their meals this week. So it's interaction with wild butt. I live with my parents, so there were those interactions, and they're retired, so we do interact with it. And then interactions while walking slash running, so that's while I'm out walking and slash running. I see different people. It was good. Saw some people. Um, I I know parents of like kids who I did book club with or swam with or whatever uh, growing up or worked with. So was, yeah, and the, yeah. There was one lady who was out with a bunch of kids. I was guessing his mom had a dog on a leash and had her back turned to me. The dog ran and she was in the middle of the sidewalk. Of course she didn't look up. And there was a dog and the dog ran towards me and pushed me out into the street with the oncoming car. And the, the American blonde haired woman with, you know, dark roots just didn't even pay attention to me being there. It was just like... No, some basic social awareness would be great, but she didn't have it. Okay, other outings with social interactions included Starbucks uh, Coffee and Pake, Baked Goods Shop on Monday, 11 September. Joanne Fabrics and uh, Fabric and Crafts uh, Fabric and Craft Store on Monday, 11 September. Avamir Richmond Beach Rehabilitation and Specialty Care, Monday, 11 September. Richmond Beach Community Park, a public park on Tuesday, 12 September. Quality Food Centers, QFC, a grocery store on Wednesday, 13 September. Brugger's Bog Park, or Brugger's Bog Park, a public park on Thursday, 14 September. Sunset School Park, a public park on Saturday, 16 September. First Lutheran Preschool of Richmond Beach, a preschool on Saturday, 16 September. Deer Creek Park, public park on Sunday, 17 September. And Quality Food Centers, QFC, a grocery store on Saturday, Sunday, 17 September. So I didn't do like one of my half day long or full day long adventures this past week, but I did a really good job distributing it. So it was a really well spaced week um, socially. Okay, up next is mental. Uh, pushing for learning slash growth in internal transformation. It has begun. It started with a mouse in the garage and the reading of a letter that I did not at any point ever even think I would be reading in a YouTube <laughs> in documenting in a U in video form and putting on YouTube. Okay, um, so and I was so huge internal growth and maturation there. And this person was trying to control me with that letter, and it's like, well restorative justice is now we get to make that public and it's on my channel and I held on to it by trying to control me they lost control of the letter all right um they did not if their true motive was control they didn't really think it through okay so it's a good thing all right taking back what was taken from me so to speak um yeah so that mouse did good I did not okay writing photography on Yelp I reached 18 written and published reviews for September 2023, so I'm doing good towards my goal of 20 to 30. I reached 315 written and published reviews for the 2023 year thus far, increasing my all-time best for number of reviews in any one calendar year. Calendar year means 1 January through 31 December, at least for me currently. Okay, up next, writing for Lucky Wallaby Courier, LWC, so I did eating slash food including sourcing yeah so that was like going out and talking about apple season ending right sourcing is where do the apples come from when were they grown that kind of stuff so now the apple season is ending right it may, might not be fresh apples in the garage they're still apples and they were fresh when they were grown right <laughs> um so in that sense it's it's not it's not what is it fresh and frozen the uh, outside of the grocery store is where a person wants to shop the least healthy are like the canned I, at some point, a doctor told me that kind of thing. So it doesn't mean it's bad. It's just growing season's ending kind of thing. All right. Um, award or done. <laughs> and these are the stragglers kind of thing. Okay. Awards and honors selection and contextualization. 
Yeah, so that was ongoing, and I'm extending to an ongoing project with a memory recall and internal transformation focus. So I've got long-term memory loss. So talking through these awards and honors is actually good. I'm also, the internal transformation part is thinking through what an award and an honor is and what it means in thinking of, instead of just like a type A, I won blank, what are the other things I've done that's a true honor? So like my six month student visa for studying abroad in South Africa, um, I think that was actually some of the people from Europe who got the same thing for South Africa said that it was the highest honor they've ever received in their life. Right. Um, and they had plenty of awards too. It's a, I had to get the United States government in my university because I was doing a student exchange at Nelson Mandela Metropolitan University. So I had to have good standing and they actually like did a background check and they had to approve sending me as a representative of the University of Washington and the United States of America off to the school. So it wasn't just getting a visa, right? it was representation of the country and um, the school that I was attending. All right, so it was a huge honor. <laughs> but is there uh, are there other things like that in my life? And I was thinking through like, I got a I chose a Bible verse for my grandpa Roger when he died and was right at the funeral. And I was super honored. There was a bunch of people there standing room only in the church. And um, I got mine read and there were people there who knew Grandpa Roger still older, longer than I've been alive, right? I'm approximately 31 years old. It was a huge honor to have my Bible verse read. So like, maybe I should make a video about that, right? Honors are, um, it can be very telling about a person's internal character, what they put in, award, in, in awards and honors list and what they leave off. Right. Okay. And then biographies, thinking through. So, uh, my gal pal and fellow Norwegian, I was thinking would be a perfect fit if she wants it for Shana Jack. So my gal pal and Norwegian fellow Norwegian Alicia Vikander, both have very butch names and Alicia Vikander is like me. We have very butch uh, body types, narrow hips, no thigh gap, broad shoulders. Um, I have a lack of like this muscle too, but like, yeah, I think that's a Polish thing, the lack of muscle here. And my turned down collarbones, I have very different and skeletal and autonomy and that autonomy and anatomy, but she has a butch body type as well. Okay. Up next, you, so th that's Lucky Ball the Courier for the week, YouTube. Themed videos continued, worked on videos filling in background about some of my awards and honors and approach approaches for the video. So I kind of described that in the last one. I jumped ahead a little bit, but yeah, it's, it's a joined YouTube and uh, Lucky Wallaby Courier thing because talking through it is great for my memory and my recall. I'm finding and internal transformation because I'm not as mean as I thought I would be. <laughs> uh, kind of thing. It's like, no, I'm not. Yeah, this didn't bother me at the time and it doesn't bother me now, but society might say it should bother me, you know, kind of thing. It's like, coming to terms with who I am and being like, wow, I can actually talk about this, you know, kind of thing. So, yeah. Uh, removed automatic concepts on over 500 videos for which automatic concepts appeared turned on uh, following my previous time through removing automatic presets, which was the week of 14 August 2023. Date of health and wellness check-in for that week was Sunday, 20 August 2023. They came back. I Partway through taking them off, they were taken away from all my videos, like the option to uncheck it. So now I'm going through them all over again. So I have over 700 videos left. So that's this coming week. <laughs> Breaking it up. I, I But I had done some already before. Um, so it's a multi-week, multi-day each week so far, and multi-hours each day. <laughs> it's, a, it's a project as a one person with over 2,200 videos, and I do it all myself, at least currently. It takes time. Okay. Uh, video and playlist curation. Yes. So that's just like fixing typos or if, like if the date was wrong or if there was a typo or I want to update the wording now that the thing has passed or whatever kind of thing tense change uh, or wording to account for time passing kind of thing. Uh, finished project collecting at least one video with footage at each of the schools I have attended in Washington State as of filming the videos, which spanned December 2022, September 2023. So as of that time frame, I've what schools had I attended in this state? And I now have a video with footage at each of those schools, at least one video on the YouTube channel. Currently, all right, okay. As of filming this, Sunday, 17 September, 2023. And then last up is thinking through thumbnails for videos on days with more than one video. 
So if I have like four to six videos in a day, um, YouTube provides me three options. I typically go with one of the three options they provide me. I typically go with the center option. Sometimes I'll choose something else, but I've been looking at some of my thumbnails going, could I do the left one or the right one? And like there's three options. Why not think about it as instead of a thumbnail for a video, but a thumbnail for the, the batch. Right, so not just as for a video marketing, but for a the day kind of thing. Um, because I do upload more than one video a day. So just thinking that through. Because I do scroll through, or and in the past when I haven't been producing as much, I used to scroll through people's videos and that kind of stuff would matter a lot. The thumbnail relative to the videos around it, as opposed to a standalone video. So it matters a lot, speaking from experience, but I finally decided to give it time. Okay. All right, up next, finances. Amazon return finished, woo, refund process. It was $16.49 and that finished yesterday, Saturday, 16 September. And then my other one, and I'll put this in the sweet and savory eats and or savory eats, or sweet eats and savory eats playlist is current sweet and or savory food fund. I should put this in running as well, actually. So my current fund, include which is for um food slash drink and gas expenses um is at 275.9 dollars and 97 cents on sunday 3 september 2023 the fund balance was 301 point dollars and 24 cents so included in the health and wellness check-in for that week so i provided it there um so for the two weeks monday 4 september to today or through today sunday 17 september my 25 dollars and 27 cents covered eight sweet and or savory eats videos and that included 12 different products so i'm doing spectacular for my budgeting in terms of um, videos. But I want to so include this in running because this is an experimental budget and the focus here is maintenance, but also experimenting. And so I'm thinking through with my running, how do I fit this into my schedule? How do I eat food that still allows me to run? Because if I eat like certain foods, I find that my running might not be as fast or high quality, right? So thinking about the fuel I use for my runs, um, as well as maintenance, and being like, it's okay to not always just do maintenance, right? <laughs> Too. So, so don't forget about like, I should go do a half day or a full day adventure and then figure out how to still not get derailed from my running routine. All right? So the focus here, now that I've kind of like been like, okay, I'm not going to spend $300 in like two weeks. <laughs> I didn't, I only spent $25 and 27 cents, um, for 12 products and eight different videos. I, and 12 different products, <laughs> but, but like, um, yeah, is now think about my life in running and my exercise form and think about that in doing some of the stuff I had been doing earlier in the summer. Summer's still not technically over, but like, um, I think maybe as through the end of the month of can I get in a half day or full day adventure once or twice? Um, that kind of thing. Can I, can I put up a sweet and or savory eats video for like, what? 10 or 11 consecutive days. I think I've done, so like filming a food video and publishing that same day. I think my current streak for that of like, without a break day off is like, and doing it same day is four or five days. Um, so yeah. <laughs> so uh, even hitting a week would be different for me. My plus is physical, so that's diet, slash food, and exercise. I made all my workouts Monday, 11 September to through today, Sunday, 17 September. So it was a good week. Maintained, um, even with getting in my sweet and savory eats and um, doing some more spontaneous videos of, uh, I, I've still been good on my running and stuff. In conclusion, it was a good week. It's been sunny, nice weather. It's been... It's been all around wholesome, happy health and wellness.